So here I am in Montana at my sister's house. I was just doing an experiment with another cement battery, but instead of cement, I'm going to try this uh, grout stuff that I found in the garage. I was teaching my a couple of my nephews about this concept of an earth battery or you can get power from pretty much anything if you put a semiconductive metal on one side and another conductive metal that's more conductive on the other side and you know we use potatoes we use dirt and I just was showing them with a multimeter that there's a charge that comes from that when you uh, put it in series like that and it and this charge builds or the voltage builds every time you put it in series so uh, for my nephew's birthday I just decided I was going to do one out of this um, ice cube maker and also these this old computer that my other nephew uh, wanted to destroy so I just took the parts off of there and there's a lot of useful parts that you can take off of it um, anywhere from wires to these little toroid, toroid or, or uh, yeah toroid coils I believe they are and you could use these for making jewel thieves to multiply the volts and I was going to experiment with those and of course they have capacitors in there that I took off of um, off of the board there and of course LED lights and little switches and stuff like that so I was gonna just utilize what I've got in the computer and I took this heat sink off and I thought these would be good plates because um, for this uh, cement battery and these are perfect just because they're already in plates and I just drilled a hole all the way through them and it's made out of aluminum which is what I would need anyways so I just drilled a little hole and then just broke them off so I'll just set them in each one of them like this and then I used the screws that I got out of the computer board and I drilled a hole just big enough for the screws just to tightly screw in there and then I took some wire and just uh, pretty much pinched it in there so the wires stay on secure and then I was trying to think of what I was going to do for the for the other plate on the other side of each cell and I'll probably I'll probably find some other metal or maybe a copper penny or something to put on the other side but I just wanted to show you real quick that this is this could be a really fun project and just to teach uh, any teach yourself or teach anybody that you know a, a fun little science project uh, with the stuff that's laying around your house and uh, you could learn a lot from this concept I'm getting more advanced with this a lot more advanced than I'm showing so I'm going to be doing those I'm really excited about it it just takes a long time to learn about it and to uh, gather up all the resources so as I'm on my trip in Montana and Idaho and Utah and then back to Iowa I'm gonna be collecting all these resources and then I'm gonna be making more of this type of concept and uh, it's gonna be really exciting at least for me I get excited about this stuff but uh, this this uh, concept is amazing basically I took one of these earth batteries and I hooked up one of these capacitors to it and put the multimeter on there made sure the capacitor was drained and then I put one of these cells attached it on there just for a few seconds and it charged it a little bit so I know this has a capability of charging these capacitors and so I know it works just from these little tests it's just a matter of getting it more efficient and la lost lasting longer and making it look a little more compact and smaller and all that stuff you know but this is a good way to learn so you can learn for yourself or teach other people how to do it so I got the uh, thin set in there 
and I'm going to take these aluminum plates with the screw and the wire I'm going to place them in just like this and they're going to connect in with the penny. I drilled a little hole in there and I cleaned off the penny with a wire brush so it has good contact and by the way it's okay to do this if you're doing it for experimental purposes so um, anyway so you get the penny in there and the this other plate and I'm going to do all around we'll get to that point but that's the basic concept I just want to show you how simple it is so on this penny I actually got the screw to screw in there and thread in there and I didn't expect to do that but if you drill a hole slightly smaller than the threads there it'll force it in there it'll thread in so that's one idea to do it because one of the challenges is to get that is to figure out how to attach that and have a really good connection without it falling off. I don't have alligator clips so I didn't do that but I guess that's one way to do it. So it's not going to look the best, but it's still fun. I'm just going to do a quick test of the multimeter while it's wet. I'm just curious to just to make sure it's not wasting my time here. Um, let's just do a couple poking around here. All right, cool jumped around almost to a volt. That's cool. Well, as long as I can get something out of that, I'll be happy. This is what I got so far. Just making sure those plates aren't touching underneath there. Because that'll ruin everything. Alright, I got them all embedded in there. I'm just going to do just one last little test on the leads here. And positive and negative. Hopefully it'll have something. Ooh, nice. See that? It's like eleven. Like hit a hit almost 12 volts there okay that's cool I'm excited I just wanted my nephew to get excited too so we can keep making more of them and just get a LED to light up in fact I could just grab an LED right now and see if it'll even flicker or anything if it flickers or whatever then we got something going on there <laughs> let's see a shorter one is negative I think longer one is positive. Let's see if this sucker lights up. And the voltage will probably go down when it dries, but you could always get it, you could always moisten it up again and it'll Maybe it's the other way. I want to see it light up. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Okay, good. I was getting worried for a second. Now, this is a, a, a candle LED, so it's supposed to flicker like that. So, in fact, I'll probably... So, since it's his birthday, I'll... I'll put a the the candle tea light thing on there just for a joke, I guess. But it'll still be cool at the same time. 
and I think I have it somewhere in my little pile of stuff so I'll get that together and it'll be kind of like a little birthday cake science project thing I want to show you that you could charge these capacitors with this So this capacitor, this capacitor is what I got off of the computer, and right now got 0.23 volts on it. So I'm going to short it out and then drain it. I'm going to put it on this connection here on the earth battery or the cement battery, and then I'm going to see right now it has zero zero volts. So now I'm just going to put it on this for just a few seconds. So I'll just keep it on there for, I don't know, maybe like 15 seconds and then and just see if there's a difference on the voltage. And if there is, then you have a charge on the capacitor. which if you're not familiar with what a capacitor is, it's just like a battery, like a kind of a short-term battery. It just holds the charge for a little bit, but you could charge it back up. So I put it on there for like 15 seconds. Um, then I'm just gonna see how many volts it has now. already it like went over so now there's like eight volts in it that's pretty awesome I didn't expect that actually so there is a guy that's making really really efficient ones that are small same concept I just wanted to go over this very simple concept because um, you could pretty much use pretty much anything I mean you could just get a multimeter and just test things out but uh, I had I had an idea to make it more efficient and use capacitors and then um, just use LED lights and switch back and forth charging a capacitor and then using the light on it and then charging the other one at the same time so it switches back and forth you know an idea like that and it keeps running and it charges it charges itself as this cement battery or whatever battery is uh, recovering. So <clears throat> with this guy, he's already ahead of me, so I'm kind of watching what he does. And I'm gonna get as far as I can uh, with it, but you can just keep going with your experiments. And um, I'm just gonna put this little candle type of LED light on there. It has a little flickering effect. And then it'll be my, my nephew's present. So um, he could just kind of take off with it with, whatever else he wants to do with it. And maybe I'll hook it up and and let you see the final thing. Alright, this is what I came up with. I just put that little candle light on there and I put a switch on it. So now the candle light goes on and it's just a fun little birthday present slash night light. <laughs>